Horses for race number seven, the first division, second leg of the Wayne Fry Pacing Series. Racing one mile, a purse of $2,500. Number one is Just a Habit, owned by Dog and Richard Palmer with Herbie Brown. Number two, Fans Peregrine, owned by Fred Bates and Dave Rankin with Dave Rankin driving. Three is Knight Talon, owned by Ron and Marjorie Anderson for Dan Ader. Number four, Standing Bridge, owned by Bunky Trout and Dean Perrell with Bunky Trout driving. Five is Baker's Legacy, owned by Ken Sommer, Valeria, Bruce Regala. Number six is One Good Time, owned by Herb Spearman of Mount Vernon. Mike Spearman drives. Seven, TM's Good Time, Gus, owned by Tom and Marsha Janecki of Perrysburg for Jim Mullinax. Number eight is Lucky Leno, owned by Teresa Wiley for Keith Justice. Number nine, Colonel Binote, owned by Carson Holler of Delta. Buck Collar drives. And number ten is Billy Tradition, owned by Carter, Taylor Moore, and Reed. Brent Holland in the Sonky. They swing to the back stretch. There they go. And they're off. From between horses, one good time uh, hustles for the lead. Baker's Legacy on the inside. Baker's Legacy storming to the front will take a man. Lucky Leno from the outside is away second. Knight Tillon from the inside is third. Early fourth, Standing Bridge on the inside to five. Fans Peregrine on the outside and racing a sixth as they move into the first turn. Billy Tradition off the rail seventh came just to habit. To the inside now racing eighth. It's one good time. They're at the first quarter. A quick 27 and 4. And on the front, Baker's Legacy retakes the lead now. On the inside, a second. It's Lucky Leno. Racing third, Knight Tillon on the outside. Recovering quickly. Fourth comes Billy Tradition. Just a habit. Waiting for that cover. Five. Inside, sixth. The fans. Peregrin outside. The seventh comes Standing Bridge. Alongside, eighth. One good time. Ninth is Colonel by Noti. The trailer is TM's good time gus they're at the half with baker's legacy in control half and 58 and one outside pressuring a second it's billy tradition and he's been parked throughout lucky leno is locked in tight third outside the fourth it's just a habit along the rail racing a five night tail on the outside and pacing a sixth come standing bridge down the back side they go and baker's legacy back in control by a length billy tradition is still there still game and still second Along the rail, racing a third, Lucky Leno to the outside of fourth. It's just a habit. Knight Tellen is waiting for racing room five, three quarters, 127 and four. Baker's Legacy with the lead by a length. Lucky Leno slipping up the rail. He's now second in Billy Tradition. Beginning to weary now to the outside is third. Knight Tellen is still waiting for racing room with less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. Baker's Legacy pulling away with every stride. Knight Tellen is fresh and alive. He's coming to him with every stride. Deep stretch. Baker's Legacy in front. 157 and three. Introducing the official winner of the seventh race, the first division of the Wayne Fry Pacing Series, second leg, number five, Baker's Legacy, three-year-old Ohio bred son of Baker Field, from Miss Prouty by Billy Dart. Oh, by Ken Sommer of Illyria, Ohio, Gene Regal, the uh, trainer, Bruce Regal in the Sonky. Baker's Legacy in only his third lifetime start, a winning effort tonight. That gives him a mark of 157, three-fifths. Complete order finish, number one, just a habit, eight. Number two, Fans Peregrine, four, three, Nightel, and two.